Hi guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I thought it'd be really fun to take you along a day in my life and kind of what I'm doing, what I've been up to. Honestly, the reason why I haven't been recording that much, I've been so busy. I cannot even express to you how busy I have been traveling backwards and forwards. Tony Scope is expanding like absolutely crazy, which we're actually doing really fun things and I cannot share them with you. I'm not even gonna go into it because the team will just beat me up. But there's so many things happening that I've had to prioritize my life and I've had to actually say to myself, okay, my focus needs to be on my business right now and that's what I need to be focusing on. So I'm back today. I thought I would share a day with you guys. What I'm eating, how I'm training, what I'm working on, the whole shebang. So if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and remember to always do this for you, but I'm gonna do this for me because it says me here, but you know what I'm trying to say. All right, breakfast time. This is outfit number two. I'm just testing out a specific bra. So uh, it looks really, really nice. The back looks really nice. Back looks nice, huh? Oh yeah, oh it's me. <laughs> I thought you was watching it. But uh, we're testing a couple things out. But um, outfit number two, I'm doing a back workout. I'm gonna do two more exercises and then change again. Do a couple more videos. I'm sweating. Oh my god. Can't even see me properly. Okay, so we finished recording and we're grabbing some quick food. We're in Nando's and I'm gonna have some chicken wings. Because I absolutely love chicken wings and I always eat with my hands. Uh, I have some broccoli, rice, and halloumi. We're gonna eat this up, get cracking with some more work, and then I have to go home get some more food in me and then go to the gym because it's a heavy 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 leg day today I love doing like a strength building leg day session and um, I'm also testing some things out as well so here's what I'm having some broccoli get some fiber in my system chicken wings rice and halloumi and Roz is over here she has some chicken thighs and some chips as well so we're going to eat this up and then do some more work.
So I'm back home now, finished a really intense workout. Um, like I said, I post so many workouts on IG, so you can always go there, save them, like them, use them, utilize the content that people provide on social. You will see good content and really valuable content all over the place. So really do utilize it to your advantage because creators do spend so much time producing the content. Um, and hopefully it helps, you know. When I started my fitness journey, I never really, no one was really posting much on Instagram and if they were, it was, it was a weed. So yeah, make sure that you utilize any of the content that people provide. Um, so I'm gonna make dinner now and I don't know what I wanna make. I think I'm gonna make some chicken and like a chicken salad-y thing with some couscous. I had it last night, so I'm gonna make it again for myself. Super simple, super easy. Some chicken, some couscous, some beetroot, um, just some hummus as well, all combined together, meshed up. Nothing pretty, just wanna eat up and get as much food in me as possible. I've lost a lot of weight lately. I've been really stressed. Um, there's a lot going on and um, and sure, some people might sit there and go, oh, but losing weight, like that's so good. Like when you're stressed, you lose weight. Not really, because psychologically, it's not good when you're stressed and then you don't eat and then your brain and your body deteriorate. And that's exactly what's been going on with me. When I'm overly stressed, I don't eat and I deplete. And that is not a good thing at all, at all. My stomach is feeling really like shrunk and I don't feel strong and I'm, gaining that energy back and it's been going on for like, I would say about four weeks. So I'm slowly building my energy back up. And like I said, this has not been intentional. It's been because I've, I'm overly stressed and I've had a lot more anxiety than I ever have done before. And you know, I don't, I don't wanna make this video sad or anything like that. But the truth of the matter is I have had a lot of anxiety lately that I'm learning to deal with. And I feel like it's a taboo, you know, people when they talk about anxiety, they feel like ashamed to have it and it's not like why are you ashamed to have it if you suffer from anxiety if you suffer from depression if you suffer from anything psychologically or mentally that is not something that you should be ashamed of that is not something that you should not openly and freely speak about a lot of people like to keep it internal and they're very introverted and then there's people that they discuss it and they're more extroverted and they they're open about situations and the truth of the matter is like, I'm not ashamed of that. I'm not scared to openly admit that. Like shit gets hard in life. It doesn't matter what you see on, on the screen. It doesn't matter what you see people smiling. Like everyone is human at the end of the day and everyone deals with situations differently. And that is why I always say mental health for me is the most important thing. Physically, your body's gonna like change all the time. It's gonna get stronger, it's gonna get weaker, it's gonna get Bigger is gonna get smaller. I don't know, it's gonna get muscly, it's not. But mental health for me is is so vital. If I'm not happy mentally, how in God's name am I gonna have a healthy, sustainable life? So I'm gonna make dinner now, and then I'm gonna wash all this makeup off that's kind of like essentially deteriorated out of my face. And then I'm gonna get in my pajamas and I'm gonna watch the rest of the Steve Jobs movie. I started it because I'm just so intrigued by Apple and Steve Jobs and their marketing system. Like me and marketing, I don't think people understand, like my idea of fun is listening to a digital marketing podcast and reading a book on digital marketing and psychology and human habits and human occurrence. It's just, don't even go there. Like I think if someone was to have like a proper in-depth conversation with me, they'd be like, this bitch is crazy. Like I don't give a crap about human habits. But I'm like, oh my God, did you know that humans do this and humans do that? And someone would be like, what are you on about? Like, you're crazy, you're crazy old bitch. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make some food, shower up and get into bed. And then when I get into bed, it's a really bad habit, talking about habits, but it's a really bad habit. But I literally brain dump all my ideas into the note sections on my laptop. So then in the morning when I wake up super early, I'm like writing relevant email to the relevant team at Tone and Sculpt and sharing my ideas. If you look there, like that is a brain dump. So I have like over a thousand of those brain dump roadmap things because my brain is just constantly like so this is my food. Oh my God, this is the most random meal ever. There's red pepper hummus, some beetroot, 
um, Moroccan style couscous and then some chicken. Okay, deliciousness. Okay, I'm gonna eat this up and watch soup. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alrighty then. So look, he's all fresh and so clean. So fresh and so clean. Washed my hair, washed my face, washed my entire soul, and put a massive baggy t-shirt on. You know what, we ain't doing that sexy thing in bed. Like seriously, no, no, no. Comfort is key. I need to sleep. I ain't about being sexy. I just wanna sleep and feel comfortable in bed and just crash. Choo. Yeah. So before I do that, what I like to do is I, I switch on my laptop and essentially I just write all the ideas I've had throughout the day. So I tend to actually do that on voice note on my phone. You know, like Lewis Slit does in suits. I just, he's like, he has his little thing and he just talks. Per Dr. Lipschitz, dominating your bucket list leaves you with a sense of peace and accomplishment. That's literally what I do throughout the day because an idea will pop up and then I need to write it down. I am a creative person. I don't know, I'm the type of person that needs my mind to be free of thought in order for more thoughts to come and more creative ideas to come. So I always need to just decongest my mind. So by doing notes before I go to bed, I just have everything written out. And then in the morning, I go through it, really early in the morning, I go through it and make it more in depth and send it to the relevant team members at Tone and Sculpt to literally sift through. So it's actually quite early for me to fall asleep. It's 1 a.m. in the morning. Now you're gonna think I'm crazy, but your girl doesn't fall asleep till about 3 a.m. in the morning. And that's purely because I am a night owl. I don't recommend this to people who, you know, just don't do it just because I'm doing it. But I am a night owl. And at night is when my brain starts operating at full capacity. In the morning, I'm like dead. Do not speak to me. My brain is absolutely scrambled egged and it's just a mess. But at night, I'm just like, woo, oh my God, let's go out clubbing. Tequila, tequila, tequila. Joking, don't do that. Okay, maybe for my birthday, which is soon. Libra season, bitches. All right, anyway, I'm a bit too hyped for bedtime. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Maybe I need some chamomile tea to calm me the fuck down. All right, then, I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a bit of an insight on what I do. This is my content day. So the days I go in the office, I'm gonna take you along with me as well. And we're also moving offices to a bigger office because we're expanding and it petrifies me, but I'm excited. I'm so, so excited. So I love you so much. Good night. If nobody's told you you're beautiful today, you are absolutely stunning. Do not let anyone tell you different. I need to actually calm down. It's 1 a.m. in the morning. I feel like I'm in a club. I need to calm the F down. All right, bye, love you.